Hey, hey. Can we get a doctor? Let you bring me here. Would you stop fighting me? You know what? I have way too much work to be doing to be wasting my You are not going to do anything if we don't chill out. Liza? Yes. What happened? Nothing. Really nothing. I got to the office this morning and she was totally out of it. Looking okay, like she was going to pass out any second. You're exaggerating this now. You're exaggerating. You do look exhausted. Okay, you know what? You try pulling an all-nighter when you're trying to fight a migraine. How long have we had the migraines? Oh. A couple days at least. You know what? This whole thing is going to pass. All right, I got a murder trial that resumes this afternoon. I don't have time to be wasting here. <laughs> Tell me something. Why are you so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed? It's annoying. You know, here you are glowing. My face looks like a beanbag chair. <laughs> you were up earlier than I was. I don't know. I tell you, I think that uh, working with Jackson on this case just gets me all revved up. I'm revved up, too, but it doesn't do the trick for me. I guess I'd be more revved up if he hadn't asked to meet us to crack the dawn. Yeah, well, I, I, I think it's because he wants to keep this secret weapon under wraps until he springs it on the court. Yeah, well, one thing's for sure. Greenlee's not going to be too enthusiastic about a little surprise when she figures out she's got to give up her jail cell to Ryan. Yeah, that's another reason why we can't tell anyone that Jackson's going to put this other guy on the stand. Well, don't look at me. I'm not going to say anything. All right. And even why. Hi. Hi. You're keeping rough hours. No. What are you doing up so early? Well, I couldn't go back to sleep once I woke up and saw that you were gone. Have you seen Greenlee yet this morning? No. I, well, she called, actually, from Fusion. She said that she and Kendall are trying to distract themselves with work until the trial continues this afternoon. Nice. Well, at least somebody can take their mind off it. Good for them. Well, I would have done my best to keep your mind off it if you hadn't left so early. Well, there's a thought for you. Unfortunately, I had to take this meeting. It was the only time I could. I assume it was about Greenlee. And you would assume correctly. Uh -huh. Well, if she wasn't there, then who was? Any more coffee where that came from? Oh, sh here. Take this one. You don't mind? Mm-mm. Thanks. So if you can't tell me... Who it was about, at least tell me what it was about. Did you find something that can prove that Greenlee's innocent? I really can't talk to you about this. You're not serious. <sighs> you don't trust me, do you? I'm gonna have to call you back. What took you so long? I was still asleep when you called. Well, at least you slept. What happened? The press. They've been bombarding me with accusations that I somehow helped Scott steal the nanotech idea. But you had nothing to do with it, right? Exactly. That's why I need you and the rest of the Chandler IT team to blanket that message all over the internet. I'm talking RSS feeds, social networking sites, blogs. Blast them with posts. You make sure that they know that I was no way connected to my cousin's criminal activities. I've already set up a few interviews. A lot of people would hide under a rock. Well, there's no way that I'm going to let my cousin's overactive conscience bring us down. I will save Chandler Enterprises. I might be able to help you with that. This is not about trust. Isn't it? No, this is about protecting a trial strategy that relies very heavily on confidentiality. Just that simple. Meaning that you have an ace up your sleeve and you're waiting for just exactly the right moment to share your hand. Exactly right. Well, can this ace you're keeping to yourself, can this prove Greenlee's innocence? That would be my fondest wish. Does it prove that somebody else killed David? I see. You're asking too many questions already. Fine. I won't press you. 
I'd appreciate that. Even though I endured being interrogated like a common criminal yesterday, for your sake. Well, you held up very well under Liza's scrutiny. Oh, I can handle Liza. Yes, you can. I tell you how much I appreciate your support. You know, not everyone believes in my daughter's innocence. Well, I certainly want to do everything I can to help you. Well, if there's anything else I can think of for you to do, I'll be sure to let you know. Actually, Jack, there is something else that we mm, can do. What a great idea in the middle of the day. Come no, on. I mean, I mean, it's about our wedding. What about our wedding? We have to rethink it. The way Jackson builds a case, the way he pieces together the, the facts and the evidence, I mean, the man is really nothing short of inspiring. Yeah, he's Superman. Can we move on? <laughs> Okay, Dad, I get it. Trust me. I, I even admit that I'm jealous. Who says I'm jealous? You're jealous? Yeah, I'm jealous. I Why? mean, there he is. He's, he's helping his daughter. And I can't do squat for mine. That's not true at all. That's just, that's, that's ridiculous, man. I, you're always there for Marissa. I've seen you firsthand. You're always there to... To give her a shoulder to cry on, or a place to stay, something to eat, a hug. I, I wish I could do more. Really. I, I'm just watching this whole custody nightmare with JR spin out of control. The same way it did with Babe. And I feel even more helpless now. I don't know what you mean. I gotta admit, I'm more than a little worried about JR myself. You know, it's obvious he's on some kind of downward spiral. I tried talking to him. I did. It just, I couldn't get through. Well, I'm not sure anybody can. It's hard to believe it's the same man. It was at death's door not too long ago. You know what's funny? Back then, I was so scared. I was so powerless. I was, you know, I felt like all I could do was sit by the bed and hold his hand, and I still felt more connected to him than I do now. It's amazing. There he is, you know, as bad as the cancer was. He's half out of his mind on painkillers, and yet he seemed to be more aware back then of the things that were really important. Mm. I mean, how did he go from that to the bully that he is now? Adam. If Dixie's half is old, and Adam's the other half. And unfortunately, when the chips are down, it seems like, just like his father, he tends to push anything else that means anything aside. I, Adam's not even around anymore. Well, his expectations are. How the hell did you get in here? Now, don't go firing the maid. I told her I'm here to restore your father's company to its original glory. Oh. Well, I hope the maid enjoyed your joke. I don't have time for this. Oh, it's not a joke. Kid, why don't you go get your laptop? Because after your boss hears what I have to say, I'm sure he's going to want you to hit me over the head again. You leave him out of this. Well, you brought him into this. Yet another in a long line of bad decisions. Okay, fine. Say what you need to say, then get out. Junior, your company's in serious trouble. I'm willing to make an offer that'll help repair some of the damage. You're wasting my time. All right, I'll cut to the chase. We void the sale of Cortland to Chandler. You relinquish the nanotech patents and all the profits you've made off of it. Oh, would you like the gold watch my father gave me, too? Think about it. It'll restore your image and the public's faith in your company. There's no way I'd give all that up. Especially not to you. Well, why don't you just take some time, let us sink in. You realize it's the right thing to do. And if I don't? Well, let's see. If you don't, your company's image will be the least of your worries because you'll be sharing a prison cell with your cousin. I didn't do anything illegal. You knew about the theft. You kept it a secret. And you collected profits. That makes you an accessory after the fact. You can't prove that. Well, I'll remind you that you said that after I win permanent custody of your kid for Marissa. That will never happen. Junior. If you're willing to go up against me in court, I guarantee you will lose the only two things that you have left. A failing company and your freedom. How is she? I'm fine. The dizziness and headaches are a result of moderate dehydration and general exhaustion. Mind telling me what you had to eat and drink in the last 48 hours? Nothing but black coffee. I mean, she stops now and then to down an energy drink or six. 
That's it? No, that's not it. Yes, okay, fine, that's it. But you're going to tell me that is not how you got through medical school. I'm going to start treating the dehydration with IV fluids. After you're hydrated, I want you to eat, oh, then rest. I can't rest. I have work to do. We're talking about your health, Lisa. Yes, and I'm talking about a murder trial. I'm sure if I write the judge a note, he'll be more than willing to postpone. Okay, this is not a, a science fair. All right, this is a trial. It's a murder trial. And I will be damned if I take a postponement. I don't want anyone to even know that I've been in here. Yeah, God forbid someone finds out that you're human okay, and not you a cyborg. you have to honor the confidentiality rule between doctor and patient. You can't let anybody else know. Oh. Ugh. See? You need to lie back and let me do what I need to do. If you don't, you may never see inside that courtroom ever again. I'll have the nurse come in and start the IV. Would you please stop bloating? I told you to watch all that yes, caffeine. Yes, and I told you that I'm doing what's necessary to get through this trial. Would you just listen to the doctors and stop pushing yourself like a maniac? By the way, you're welcome. For what? For catching you when you passed out. I can't help it. I got the mayor breathing down my neck. I mean, I've got to get a conviction. Or I'm... What? I think I cannot mess up this job. It's all I've got. If you think that I'm just going to cave to your bluff... You must be out of your mind. Junior, don't be foolish. Take the deal. If you don't, you're going to be charged with fraud. Are you really just going to take that kid away from his father? Oh, boy, oh, boy. As for you, you little pissant, I have security footage of you trying to break into my home. Now, if you are stupid enough to keep bothering me, when I'm done with your boss, I will be coming after you. And you won't want that. Do not tell me that you want to call our wedding off. Not at all. I just think that we really need to postpone it. Why? Jack, Christmas is just a little more than two months away. And heaven knows how long this trial is going to drag on. And, and, and when it drags on, I mean, it and Greenlee are both going to need your full attention. And I will be working, too. I mean, God knows how long it's going to take for me to get Cortland Electronics back from Chandler. And when that happens, then Caleb and I are going to have to give all of our attention to that. And none of this can't be worked around. Jack... This isn't our first wedding. No. And we both know exactly how stressful that big day can be. I mean, all by itself, even without all the other factors factoring in. I'll tell you what I know, and that's that you wanted a holiday wedding. And by God, if that's what you want, that's what you're going to get. You are just so <laughs> wonderful. All right, all right. You're such a wonderful man. You are my hero. <laughs> And thank you so much for being so supportive of my partnership with Caleb. I mean, that just really says a lot about the kind of man you are. Caleb is very lucky to have you on his side. I'm the one who's very lucky. Have you on my side. Yeah, well, let's not fight about it. Come here. <laughs> oh. No, I'll go. I'll, I'll take care of whoever it is. Thank you. <clears throat> Oh, hi, Erica. Crystal. What an unexpected surprise. I, I was looking for Jack. Of course you are. Don't tell me you've got those notes proofed already. Yeah. Uh, I told you it wouldn't take long, but I, I can come back. No. Oh, no, no. It's fine. Don't be silly. I actually was just uh, leaving myself, mm -hmm. and I, um, I'll be working with Caleb if you need me. Mm -hmm. Better get out of here. You're not gonna be working with anybody, sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Crystal. Mm -hmm. Try not to spill that on the furniture. <laughs>